Hi, this is Anil and welcome to the video tutorial for the learning lad on C++ programming. So in this tutorial, we're going to be learning something called loops in C++. So in programming, sometimes we need to execute some statements again and again, you know, until some condition is reached. So to do that, we're going to use something called loops and one of the loop available in C++ is called a while loop. For example, in your program, you want to print out learning lad rocks for around uh, 10 times. What you can do is you can write that learning lad rocks in a CO statement 10 times. And if that, uh, you know, number of times you want to write increases, let's say thousand times, then at that time you can't write C out thousand times again and again. So at that time, what we can do is we can write that statement only once and we can make our computer to execute that one line thousand times so for that we're going to use something called loops and one of the loops available in uh, c++ is called a while loop so this while is a keyword which is used for writing the while loop and the syntax is first you need to write the keyword while then in parentheses you need to write the expression and then a pair of curly braces and between that curly braces you're gonna write the statements so till this expression evaluates to true the statements inside this loop or inside this curly braces will be executed so in our program we should make sure that we use the proper expression and also we should make sure that you know this expression will become false at some time so that you know this loop will terminate so we're gonna see how to use this in our program so here in this tutorial just for the demonstration purpose what we're gonna do is we're gonna print out learning lad rocks 30 times to do that we need a variable i'm gonna create an integer variable and i'm gonna call it as counter and i'm gonna initialize that variable to a value of one and next we're gonna write the while loop so we need to write the while keyword and then a pair of parentheses and between these parentheses we need to write the expression and next we're gonna have a pair of curly braces and between these curly braces we're gonna write the statements so now we're gonna write the expression since i want to execute the statements inside this loop 30 times i'm gonna write the expression as counter less than or equal to 30. so till this expression evaluates to true or in other words till this counter variable is going to contain a value which is less than or equal to 30 i want to execute the statements inside this loop or inside this curly braces so here just for the demonstration purpose we're going to write c out and uh, we're going to write learning lad rocks and uh, let's add new line and that's it and the next thing that we need to do is we need to make sure that at some point our expression this expression must evaluate to false otherwise what happens is you know this expression will always be true and you know our program will be in infinite loop which means there is no end to that loop so to do that we're going to increment the value of this counter variable so it's going to be counter plus plus so now what happens the counter value is one so in the first time one is less than or equal to 30 and it's gonna print learning lad rocks and then it's gonna increment this counter value now the counter becomes two and again the same thing happens till this counter variable is gonna contain a value of 30 when it becomes 31 you know this expression evaluates to false and that's why the control will come out of this while loop so i'm gonna save it i'm gonna build and run this so you guys can see here we got learning lad rocks 30 times just to you know um, make it proper we're gonna insert the number here or the value of counter and uh, then stream insertion operator and let's add an arrow just to make it pretty i'm gonna save it and build and run this now you guys can see here one learning lad rocks two three four five similarly 29 30. if you want to execute the statements inside this loop thousand times you just need to change this one to thousand here and you know the statement will be executed 
that many times and also make sure that when you use while loops the expression must become false at some point otherwise you'll be stuck in an infinite loop and you know your program won't work properly so thank you for watching guys this is about the loops and the while loop in c++ and uh, like my facebook page at facebook.com learning lad and i'll see you in the next tutorial